You're about to enter the Big 12 play, and I'm sure it's been explained to you guys numerous times by the coaching staff and the veteran players about how tough the Big 12 is. But do you really know how tough the Big 12 is? And this is for both of you. Um, I believe, yes, we do, definitely. We know it's full of competition, great competition at that. A lot of ranked teams, and I think that our coaches did a great job with our non-conference uh, setting us up for the Big 12. We played a lot of great teams, including Texas A&M, Miami, Arkansas. So I think we're definitely ready. We do understand what the competition's like. Uh, I was here last year, and just coming from the players and the coaches, they really instilled that in us to make us understand, and we're really showing that in practice. So it's a, you have to go out and play your hardest every game because you have the opportunity to win. So. You guys have been in the Texas Tech family for a while with regards to the recruiting process and being on campus. What, is, what would a win in Austin mean being the Texas Tech versus Texas Tech rivalry, the Texas rivalry for you guys? It would be awesome. I think it would get a lot of um, good attention. So. <laughs> what do you think? It's definitely going to take toughness. We know what the Big 12 is like. And coming from, like you said, former players, veterans, I mean, Ivanka Taylor being here five years, she's definitely showed what it, what it takes to be a player and to win in this league. And it's going to take us being tough on the defensive end. We've really talked about uh, things that we've maybe lacked in the non-conference that we've worked on in these past few games. And we've definitely showed that we're improving in those areas. So, yeah. What do you expect to see from the Longhorns on offense when you guys are in Austin? Um, lots of, well, they have big post players, so they're going to look inside a lot, but they also have um, good guards, and so they're just going to be, I guess, executing well. I heard they execute really well, so that'll be a big deal. Um, getting through and making them think more than execution. So. I mean, yeah, inside-outside game. They've got eight All-Americans at least on that team, so very great team, but... Nonetheless, I think that we can go in there, and if we do the right things, we can get the win. Mm -hmm. What are the things that you are concentrating on that you mean that if you do A, B, and C, you guys can't think you can get a win out of Boston? I believe, first and foremost, is the boards. We've talked about not letting them get second-chance opportunities. I think if we can do that and capitalize on the other end, on the offensive end, which we've showed that we can score the ball, um, I think that we'll come out of there with a win. Lady Raider basketball team is just going down to Austin than obviously has been in the last few years. I'm sorry, can you ask that one more, t one more time? Just, just how different of a Lady Raider basketball team is this than the team that has traveled in previous seasons to Austin? Uh, I think we talked about it a little bit in earlier press conferences and earlier in the season. I think that this team that we have now is we have so many options, so many threats at every position. So, and we got a bench this year too. So we have more people, more bodies, keep us fresh, and being able to play one after the other. For your inexperienced players, are you a little nervous with this first this first opener in conference play? I'm not nervous. I mean, I think um, you know everyone has new players every single year that have to learn and experience the Big 12, but um, I think our, again, we've, we haven't had an easy non-conference schedule, so if we had scheduled everyone that we had beat by 30 plus points, I'd probably be a little nervous for them, but that wasn't the case. We scheduled mid-majors that are going to have a chance to win their league um, that are good. We scheduled BCS opponents on the road that have great inside players, that have great athletes. Um, so I don't think it's going to be a complete shock, um, you know, to our new kids. Um, Laren Brooks played in a lot of Big Ten games. Um, she's played everyone, you know, I'm sure at Indiana they played some SEC teams, probably some Pac-12. I mean, she's been against BCS competition. Um, the three transfers have all played against BCS competition, and they've all sat and watched a season of Big 12 competition coming in here. So they are familiar with players. They're familiar with the league. Um, you know, I don't know if Rel really cares who she's playing. She's going to, you know, hook it up and play. So I think for a lot of our new ones, it's not going to, you know, they're not going to be um, shocked at what they see. Um, you know, with that being said, Big 12's tough. I mean, every night is going to be physical, and you, you got to, you know, it's still going to be an adjustment for, for some of them, I'm sure. When you look at this Longhorn team, what's different about them from last year's squad? You know, they don't have – I mean, Kelsey Lang, I think, is playing really, really well for them, and, and she's playing really well inside. But last year they were so um, 
inside, inside, inside. They still want to get it inside. They still want to get to the rim. They still are, are great on the glass, but they ran. You know, they're running more. They're running a few more things. Uh, last year was very like we know what's coming. You know, they have Monty McGee Stafford, who's you know huge. They're going to get inside. They're going to get inside. They have a little more freedom. It seems like this year to to shoot it. Um, and you know, there's there's a di little bit different look to them offensively. And how do you expect to try to break that down defensively when you're dealing with that uh, variety of offense? Um, you know, we I think we do a good job in scouting reports, knowing. Um, what their main things they like to run and what they're trying to get done. They're still very much an inside dominant team. They want to get to the paint. Most of their points come from the paint, um, but they're just getting there a little bit different way. So um, it's like every team will have a, a scouting report. How does it feel to be starting Big 12 play knowing that you've got this base of a team behind you, you can start doing the steps to start winning Big 12 games? You know, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited for our kids to get to compete at the highest level. Um, that's why they came here, um, you know, so um, they get to do that every single night. And, you know, we get to start on the road at Texas. And Big 12 um, started all of us with four games in 10 days. So, um, you know, it's a lot of back-to-back -back and getting ready to prepare and play the next one. And, you um, you know, and again, I'm just I'm excited to see our our kids play against high level competition, and um, you know, and for us to continue to take steps forward. Coach, I think it was Laren that touched on it, and you did a moment ago as well. Texas obviously is huge, uh, but how big is it? Second chance opportunities for them, limiting those and, and making sure that their size doesn't. I, I think that's their key to win. Um, not that they can't make first attempts; they have great players, but they are very, very good at getting on the glass, at being very persistent. Um, they have guards that, you know, get in and, and mix it up, rebound in it. So it's going to have to – there's going to have to be a lot of intention on our part um, to be ready for the next play, to play everything like it's a mess. You know, you can't double contest. You're going to get punished on the backside. You can't um, get caught watching the ball in the air. You're going to get punished on the glass. So we've got to have great discipline in that area, and, and that's a huge, huge key. Um, I think for them and us. Also, Texas, I mean, you touched on this a little bit earlier, but uh, specifically a lot of the big games you've had, I think all three, if I'm not mistaken, a and Arkansas, Miami, were all on the road. Mm -hmm. How much does that help uh, just not only having a road game, not only having good competition, but having good competition on the road? Yeah, I think it's – I thought I think it was important for us, you know, and – you know, the A&M one goes in overtime. They bank in the three to, you know, to go up. I mean, I, you know, I felt like we played really well in that one. At Miami, I didn't think we played great. I think we were out of sync in that tournament, just trying to figure some things out. Um, and then, I, you know, I didn't think we played great at Arkansas, but we had a chance to win it. And, and I just thought we learned a lot from the Arkansas game. Um, I thought the next week after that, our team just took big steps at, at understanding one another and how to play together. So I think good things came out of it. And, um, you know, I know for me, I feel more confident because we had those tests early because we learned so much from them and, and you know, and went on the road. You Again, this is a team that I trust, um, you know, because they showed up. You know, I mean, they, we didn't play great against Miami, but we, were, we showed up, we were competing, we were working. Um, so I have confidence that we're going to do that on the road. Speaking to the transfers again, um, you know, you talked about how they've seen the league one time through, and most of them came from Power Five conferences mm -hmm. as well. I know teams have tape on them from early in the season on you guys, but how much does you think it helps that they're kind of going through the league for the first time, people seeing them for the first time, but they've already seen other people? I think to some extent, you know, it's just like freshmen. You know, we, we kind of know them, but we don't really know them. We know them so much better in year two. Um, so I think they have an advantage in some regard. Um, you know, I think Laren's the one they don't know as well. You know, I think all in-state coaches are for, and players are familiar with Rose and Jada just growing up with them and playing against them in club ball in high school. But um, Laren's probably a little bit of an unknown for, for quite a few. How much more prepared do you feel like your front court is – for Big 12 competition with the transfers and just recruiting trail that you've brought in this past year? 
Yeah, we've got just so much better size, you know, and Jada, again, is someone who has played against all these kids. I mean, played with them or against them in high school and, um, you know, and obviously saw size and athleticism in the SEC. So I think for her, it's, you know, it's she's ready. She understands, um, you know, Brittany, I'm really glad we played those games early for her. I think she's, you know, seen a little bit more and, um, you know, and just the physicality of the league. But, yeah, I feel good about them. I mean, I, you know, I think Ayana's gotten so much better. You know, Dio, um, you know, is going to help us. And then as we get our other ones back, I think they'll continue, you know, we'll continue to have more depth there. How much more of an, an edge or confidence do you feel like this team has going down to a place like Austin than they've obviously – Yeah, these – I mean, these kids – know. I mean, they, you know, they – They've played with the best. They've played against the best. Or say has been on USA teams. You know, I mean, they they expect to win. They expect to play well every time they step on the floor, and they have high expectations for themselves. I think they're confident people. Um, you know, on and off the floor, they've done their work. They put their time in the gym, and and a lot of confidence comes from that. How's it rolling? Good. You expect her to be full yes. go? Okay. Zuri's status, have you made a decision on, on Zuri yet with regard to Zuri's blank? been, um, she's been practicing, um, you know, kind of easing her way back in. She looks great. Um, so it's just kind of day to day and, you know, getting her to the point where she's really confident, you know, we're not going to put her in a situation when she's not fully ready to go, but she's just worked so hard and, and come back so strong and, um, and pretty fast, really. I mean, she and that's the work she's done. And, and Jenna, our trainer, and, you know, we have a lot of confidence in our doctors and our whole team there, and they've done a great job with her.